Hello, I'm Frank Hannaway, and welcome to Big Journey, Small Steps. Well, first off, mom is fine. She's still in her assisted living facility, and she's doing fine. She's been having dry skin. We got her some moisturizer. Um, Everything seems to be working out really beautifully over there. As soon as I get through making this, I'll go over there and visit like I do every day. Well, did you ever just lose track of your life? <laughs> I, uh, I've always been known for having a good memory, especially about events. And today I was thinking um, this was the beginning of my third year of retirement, but actually it's the beginning of my fourth. A year disappeared. And one of the things that has really kept me sane and kept me grounded is my weekly coffee break with my friend Lisa. So Lisa um, is the parent of a young lady who I taught at, um, at my school right before I retired. And in fact, she was... I had had her since kindergarten, and she was um, moving into middle school when I was retiring. So um, after I retired, I was in Costco, and I ran into Lisa, and Lisa said, we should get together for coffee. Well... We're starting our fourth year of getting together once a week for coffee. Sometimes we do lunch, very rarely. Um, we miss sometimes when there are vacations or something like that. But by and large, we've both made it a priority in our lives. And it's been really important to me. And um, one of the reasons is that all my life was being spent, all my time was being spent with people, um, for the most part, who had some kind of mental difficulty. Or um, I think that's the best way to put it. We're either Alzheimer's patients like my mom. We would go play places um, together and do sing-alongs, but we would go to assisted living facilities where most of the people had Alzheimer's or had some form of dementia. Every Friday we go um, and play, well, we, I go by myself now, but um, we would go to uh, a center for educationally handicapped adults and play. So anyway, it meant a lot to me because I would have these adult conversations and things were going on in Lisa's life. Some of them I could help with, especially the things about school and teaching, though I, I tell you, Hillsborough County ought to get down on their knees every day and be grateful I was not a parent here because I would have been downtown so much. Um, it, it's just amazing to me what parents and students put up with from teachers. It's just amazing to me how disregarded they are sometimes, and the whole thing is about them. It's just amazing. But anyway, we just had a conversation yesterday. Now her daughter is in high school. And the higher up you go in grades, the more autonomous the instructor feels themselves to be. So anyway, back to my point. So this just this very simple thing of getting together for an hour every week it wasn't easy. At first, it was easier. I could, in, in those days when I first started, I could leave mom and just go meet her. But then as time went on, I couldn't leave mom. I would have to have a sitter and so forth and so on. But I worked it out. And we didn't, we don't just go to Starbucks. We go to a lot of different places. But um, we have some favorite Starbucks we go to, and we go to Kawa Coffee, and sometimes we go to Pane Rustica, or we'll have a, a lunch at Burger Fi. So 
I guess what I want to say through this is if you have friends who are going through something like I went through, like being a caretaker, and it's very similar when you have friends who have children under the age of five and that's who they spend all their time with. You just want a peer to have a conversation with and it normalizes your life and it makes you feel okay because when you spend a lot of time around people who either have dementia or some other um, some other disease or syndrome or that that impairs them mentally you begin to see how much you're like them and then when you forget something you're like oh my gosh here it comes so thank you lisa for these three years of um and we're in we've moved into our fourth and i so look forward to it every week um, and I guess the only point of sharing this with you was sometimes people say, are you taking care of yourself? This, this, is, this was one of the main things I did, and it got to be really, really important to me. And um, Lisa and I have become really, really good friends, and I've learned so much from her, and I hope she's learned a few things from me. Well, that's all I'm going to talk about today. Thank you for spending time with me. From the bottom of my heart, as I always do, I'd like to wish you peace and joy.